The Society is pleased to announce the release of its lesson plan for the documentary that we released in October titled The Supreme Court and the 1876 Presidential Election. This lesson plan and documentary are part of our efforts to boost civics education by providing curriculum support to teachers. The 1876 election is interesting because it's one of only five presidential elections where the popular vote winner, in this case, Democrat Samuel J. Tilden, was defeated. Three of the Southern states disputed the election results and both parties, the Democrats and the Republicans, were accused of ballot stuffing, voter intimidation, and all manner of voting irregularities. As a result, these three Southern states sent two sets of electoral votes to Congress, and Congress had to figure out how to resolve the dispute. They did so by appointing a commission, an electoral college commission made up of five senators, five members of the House of Representatives, and five Supreme Court justices. So this 15-minute documentary focuses mostly on the fifth justice appointed, who is the 15th member of the commission appointed. It was a bipartisan commission. So he effectively decided the election by casting the deciding vote. His name is Joseph Bradley. What we like about this topic is that it touches on the electoral college and how presidential elections are decided, the kind of nuts and bolts mechanics of it, and also on the intersection between the three branches of government. Of course, this story is set against the backdrop of Reconstruction and examines the suppression of the newly enfranchised Black voters and also on the campaign promise by Rutherford Hayes, the Republican who is the eventual victor, his promise to withdraw all the remaining federal troops stationed in Southern states, which effectively ended Reconstruction. In the lesson plan, students will watch the 15 minute documentary as homework and then in the classroom with their teacher, they'll engage in a series of activities and exercises together. First, they'll learn how to interpret an electoral college map. They'll learn how to interpret a cartoon. They'll learn how to analyze a graphic and they'll learn how to analyze a primary source document. In this case, the 12th amendment. And then they'll come together and engage in a group classroom activity where they'll be divided into three groups. One group will be, will make the arguments for the Republican party lawyers, the other for the Democratic party lawyers who wanted to go behind the returns and do further investigation of the voting irregularities. And the third group will be the members of the Electoral College Commission, and they'll listen to the arguments deliberate and cast the deciding vote in the 1876 presidential election. We hope the teachers will make good use of these, this lesson plan and we hope you enjoy our video.